Hey guys, I don't really know how to start this video, so I guess I'll just go ahead and start it. Um, this is obviously Minecraft, with my new computer. So as you can see, I can see very far. It is a very powerful machine, and I love it. So, um, first and foremost, I just want people to know, because I know people are worried, because this is the majority of the comments that I get whenever I mention this, please don't make this an LP. Don't worry, people. This is not an LP. If anything, this will be like two or three videos at most. Maybe more if I just decide to build something, you know, build something new, and I just want to show it. That's pretty much all this is ever going to be. It's just me showing stuff off, okay? So, this is not going to become something regular. It's just me showing my world. That's all. So, you don't need to worry about that. But, for now, I just kind of want to... You know, it took, it took me a while to build some of the stuff I built in this game, so you know what? I'm proud of it, so I want to show it. Symbolism! No, I didn't dig that. I've actually never seen that before. Um, I basically... And, of course, glitches. Um, basically, all I did was I used a compass to go back to my original spawn point, and actually, I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, where am I? Aha, here I am. Okay. I think I spawned here, which is kind of weird, because it took me way further south. But, anyway... Uh, something I'm going to do here, just just so this doesn't become stupid. Um, I'm just going to reset my graphics so I don't have a whole ton of glitches around here. Hi, pig. Hi, chicken. Hi, pigs. Pigs everywhere. Um, basically, I'm just going to start at my spawn point, which is a, was around in here. I remember spawning in a snowy forest. So, I'm just going from my spawn point, and I'm just going to show the stuff that I built. Like, you know, the shelters and stuff like that. Um, I think I actually spawned out that way. Yeah, I did. I wonder if something's wrong with the compass that I used, because I remember distinctly spawning out this way, because I climbed up these mountains this way. Um, so I guess I'll start from over here. God, this video is getting weird. Um, or did I spawn from here? I don't know where I spawned. <laughs> but anyway, that's not important. That's not what you came to see. You didn't come to see my freaking spawn point. You came to see my shelters, which one of them is up there. So, I will drop down, and no, this world is not entirely in creative. I will show you, like, I'll let you know when stuff started getting into creative mode. Because all this stuff, like the beginning stuff that I made, it was all in survival. Like this shelter up here, this was made in survival. And even all these waterfalls, these are not legit waterfalls, like, they weren't here to begin with. But all I did there was I just took a water bucket and I just went up to the top of the mountain. And I put it in a hole and made a waterfall. So, yeah. Um, that's what I did with pretty much this whole valley. I basically just made it a waterfall valley, which is cool. Just because, you know, I wanted something special about this place, so there's a ton of waterfalls here. So, yeah. Anyway... Uh, this was my first shelter. Everything here was legit. I didn't use any creative mode or anything to do anything here. So all this fencing, all this stuff. I mean, <laughs> so all this fencing. It's like a whole 64 pieces of fence. Man, nobody can get that. But um, all this stuff, this is all done legitimately. This wasn't done in creative or whatever. Same here with all these rails. And this was my first shelter. So I'm going to take a ride on up. And, of course, back... In um, survival, I had to build this whole stairway up from the mountain floor, or the valley floor, up here. And then I added the rails way later. Uh, over there is the first nether portal that I built. And up in here was my first shelter. Of course, this is actually an expanded version of it. So it was even smaller than this before. So this one's pretty tiny. I'm actually going to take a... Eh, no, no, I won't sleep. It's cool at night, too. Uh, I have it set to peaceful just because because I don't want to get in any fights or whatever. don't want to get blown up by a freaking creeper in the middle of this video just showing my stuff. So, another portal over there. Uh, that's not the one that I'm currently using right now, though. Um, this video, it's pretty much just going to be me showing my shelters, because that, that tiny one up there, the little house on top of the mountain, that's the smallest one, without a doubt. And uh, don't forget, I will remind you, I will let you know, when my when this starts branching into uh, creative mode, like stuff that I've built in creative, because a lot of this game I did legitimately quite a bit, and usually I don't like if it's something that I'm going to be using extensively for myself, like um like a shelter. I don't like to build shelters in creative because I want to do it legit. I don't really know why. Just it feels weird to build something I'm going to use. Um, you know, extensively 
in creative. It feels like I cheated. All this rail and all this fence was done by me and legit, and that too. <laughs> all these rails, uh, the glowstones, I believe those were uh, in creative because I got sick and freaking tired of enemies spawning near my freaking things, my rails, and blocking me. And uh, this entire tree here, I went around and I think, like in this jungle biome, I found a whole bunch of uh, jungle trees, really tall ones that are four blocks wide. I think I chopped down like a total of four trees that were really, really tall and just got all the wood and turned it into a giant tree. And then all the vines and all the leaves, all these canopies, this is still all legit. And here, wait, let me show you on the way. Um, originally, the tree was shorter and it was going to be linked by all these trees. Like basically, these trees were going to have leaves uh, linked to a, you know, a canopy in the middle over this lake but then it changed to the giant tree. Um, all these leaves, all these connections between the trees, legit. All of it done with shears. I cut them all down, got all the leaves, and used it as bridges and stuff. So, yeah. And this was also my first uh, jungle shelter. I came in here when I was building the actual tree. So, yeah, that was a kind of a little waypoint there. Anyway, I was about here. Um, keep on climbing up. All this stuff, still legit. Nothing but me... You know, coming to the jungle, chopping stuff down, stuff like that. And of course, of course, it's got to go above the clouds, right? I mean, why not? And this was the second shelter that I ever built. So yeah, I had a uh, serious change in between the first and second one. This one's still pretty small, only one room. But I, didn't, I never really did a whole lot here because I couldn't find any good mines. And I designed this so that right here, I can literally just jump off all the way down, and I can survive that fall. So if I ever stay here, I jump down, and I'm immediately at the bottom. So everything is still legit. Um, nothing is done so far with creative, except for one thing over there. It's a, I built something over there that was done in creative. I might show that later. Uh, I don't know how much I'm going to be showing, uh, just because it would go. it would be a pretty long video if I showed everything. But I have about four or five shelters, so... Yeah, I only, I'm only i only really majorly using one right now. It's my main base. Because, um, by the way, never build anything on sand. Never build anything in sand. I know I've got all this rails out here, but don't build anything extensive on sand or at the beach because something screws up with sand. I don't know. It, like, it resets. Uh, this mountain, also legit. I basically just found a waterfall on it like it was already there, and I dug all around it made it huge. And I call this mountain Splash Mountain. So there you go. And I never got that coal. I probably should. Um, everything's still legit. All these rails, I made them and laid them myself. Um, I don't know why I'm talking about that. Because I'm sure there's like frigging insane things that people have built on like in uh, survival that trump my stuff by like a mile. But you know what? I did it all myself. I had never played before. So you know what? I'm proud of it. Anyway. Um, this is the, this next base is also 100% legit. It took a long time to build because of the material, and uh, I need to put more power rails here. Stop slowing down. Okay. Um, still legit. Actually, the only thing that is not legit about this, uh, base is those redstone torches up on top, because I was floating by and I saw a creeper up there, and, um, I really didn't want things spawning up there. There are redstone torches. Here, I'll just fly, because I want to walk across the ice. There's redstone torches up here to prevent spawning up here, and then I put some extra ones in here. Those are those are the only things in this whole base right here that are uh, done in creative. So this is a snow castle. Every single one of these blocks, I got the snowballs, made them all snow myself, and I just left this open because I wanted to you know, see when it was snowing and stuff. I could see it falling down over the bed. Um, and right here, um, is the coolest part about it. It's the mines here. Uh, they are underneath a frozen lake, and there are abandoned mine shafts down here. It's freaking awesome. All this is underneath a frozen lake. It's so cool. But I haven't mined here in a long time. I need to come back and do it. But anyway, uh, that's that one. I'm just flying out of here just because I don't want this to take forever, you know. So... Continuing on our little tour. Uh, next up, this is still legitimate. Everything, aside from those redstone torches, that is. Still legit. I did not build any of this. Nothing major yet. 
Oh, well, actually, we're coming up on my biggest creative build yet. What am I talking about? Uh, this next place, it serves absolutely no function. I just wanted something to look awesome. Oh, hey, arrow. Um, I just wanted something to look freaking awesome. Oh, actually, you know, these glowstones all along the rails, those are all done in creative. But that was my first major creative creation right over here. Um... I don't really have a name for it. I know that angry face on the front of it looks really, really cheesy. But that took me a really, really long time to do, even in creative. Get out of the minecart. Thank you. So all this, all this lava down here, hang on. Uh, all this lava was once a lake. I had to drain it myself. It took a really, really damn long time. But you got the floating evil death building of... Uh, horrible demonness up here with lava and stuff. And something that I think is kind of funny, uh, I built this whole thing and it ended up being non-symmetrical. You see, you got a little space over there. I don't care. I really don't. But I'm going to go in because I want to, because I want to show it off, because I, I came up with that all on my own. I never saw any videos about it. And by the way, I did the floors too. <laughs> um, all the floors in the building are lit by lava that is held within these ledges by iron bars. This was all done in creative, obviously. I never would have had enough time to mine all this obsidian myself. Um, there's nothing in any of these chests. I was going to make it a base, but then I felt, eh, you know, it's too cheap. So, uh, the stairway or blah, blah, the stairway is lit by an unguarded lava flow. And then lava flows there. You can see out the front. And then there's nothing over here. Um, out here is the way out, obviously, and then that's blocked off here. I just want to show you this room, just because, because, you know, this is another one of my pride and joys right here. Uh, you get a little, like, it's really, really dark, there's no lights in here, and then you get a maze. It's really easy to get through, but, you know, it's just to throw people off so they can't get to the room. Um, let's see. Lava right there, be careful. <laughs> um, let's see. Ah, here we go. So, right here, you can see the switch, blah, 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 I don't really care, but... Get it? Secret door into the evil magician's freaking enchanting room. It's really creepy and stuff. Okay. So, that's that. I love. I just loved making the secret door, because I had seen that in a video, but I was like, dude, that's so cool. I really love using the sticky pistons to do stuff. So, I'm a really big fan of secret doors and just, like, blast doors and stuff. They're really fun to make, so I use them all the time. Uh, now that that's shown, um, this area, like, uh, back, back, uh, blah, 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 back there, it's where all the wiring is, so that's why it's blocked off. Right here, a little redstone door. Come on up. And you get this frigging evil area where the two portals to hell are, you know, the nether portals. So, I just thought this was a nice touch. So, that's all that, that's all that there is to that place. But, you know... I made it. I'm proud of it. That one, that's the longest project I've ever done. So I was proud of it when it was done. Because it looks freaking awesome. I don't care what anybody says. I think that looks freaking awesome. Because, you know, it's not natural. It's kind of like, think the Oblivion Gates from um, Elder Scrolls 4. You know how they, um, when they appear, they like warp the land around it. So the lake turns into a lake of lava. Then there's fiery, like, netherrack around it. And so that's cool. Or, I think it's called netherrack. I don't know. That's what it's called in... Like, whenever you get it, it's called Nether Rack. I thought it was going to be called Nether Rock, but nope, it's Nether Rack. Or at least that's what it's spelled like. <sighs> so, um, remember how I was talking about you should not build on sand? Or at least in my experience, you shouldn't build in sand. Uh, this base um, coming up is why you should not build on sand. Or, I don't know, maybe I just got unlucky or something. I don't know, maybe I just got a glitch. But uh, anyway, this is why you should not build on sand. You see how there's nothing out there? There used to be. There used to be a lot of stuff here. Like, this entire island... Well, it's not really an island. This whole little plateau thing... Or, not plateau. Uh, in Peninsula, that's it. This whole little peninsula out here was covered in stuff. Like, my base, it was freaking awesome. My main base down here, I just dug down and I built a uh, an underwater glass house down there. I had built a freaking sunken ship down there, and then there was another cave down there. I put some, like, ancient ruins down there. It was freaking awesome. But for some reason, 
Oh, also, before I get to what happened, uh, over here, I had a whole huge farm. There was livestock. There was, like, sugar cane. There was a whole river going through here. There was a cactus farm. There was a ton of really awesome stuff. Really useful stuff that I made use of quite a lot. And um, for some reason, it just got reset. I don't know why, but it did. And the thing that's weird is that none of my other bases have done that. The only things that have ever happened where something has been reset is when it was built in sand. The exact same thing happened with another mine that I had really been working hard in. Like, I had a mine um, off of this place, and it was out in the desert. It was near an NPC village. And when I mined there, um, like one time I just went there... And everything was gone. Everything had reset. The sand was, like, reset. And ev the weird thing is that um, I actually dug my way back down there to see what had happened. Like, to see if everything had reset. Like, all my torches and glowstones were gone. Um, oh, what is it? Like, I went down there to check, but they were still there. So everything inside the game, like, inside the mine where there was no sand, stayed stable and stuff. So nothing changed. So I was really confused. Uh, these glowstones down in the water, originally when the base was, um, stop, thank you, uh, originally when the base was, uh, still functional and still there, I had a little glowstone trail, I had two of them, so that, you know, you could just go between the lights and you'd make it to where I'm going next. Uh, those were all placed legitimately, they were my glowstones, and I went down there, and all that, and then, when they all disappeared because of the sand... Uh, I just got fed up, and I made a bunch of towers, and I basically just made a trail of glowstones along the water. That was done in creative because I was really pissed off. Um, the sunken ship and the ruins that I built, that was done in creative. And the only thing about the base that was there, the glass base, uh, that was done in creative was I uh, just draining the water out. So a lot of that was done in survival. It's just that it was really, really aggravating to um, uh, drain it legitimately, because it was so tedious. Now, uh, you're going to see the scale. Like, you remember the mine that I was talking about that I did so much work in? The one that got closed up? This entire bridge is legit. And this is this is not even half of the bridge that I built. Not half of the boardwalk. That is all legitimate wood and fencing. All of it. So that is how much wood and how much fence I got out of the mine before it got closed up. Um, this right here is my pride and joy. Here, I'm going to go in. I'm just going to get some stuff. You'll see. All right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two. This is my person-launching TNT cannon. That is safe for, uh, you know, gameplay. It's safe for survival, I mean. It does not kill you. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. So, get out of here. Dang it. You're, you want to get exploded? All right. So... Kaboom! And it launches you really high and actually really far, and it doesn't kill you. So, I came up with that all on my own, just with a little help from videos. You know, I just took some designs and, you know, worked with them a little bit. So, yeah. Um, anyway, on to my final base, which is the one that I'm currently inhabiting. So, all this bridge and all this fence is um legit including the glowstones because you know glowstones aren't hard to get it's just you got to go to the nether to get them so every single piece of wood every single piece of stair you know i got stairs there is legit and this is a six one is a one two three four five six uh wide fence so every single space is six pieces of wood and now we're coming up on the end. Um, originally, I wanted to come in here and, like, instead of these glowstones, I had redstone lamps that would blink back and forth and back and forth, like, really cool and stuff. But I couldn't really do that. So this is my main base. Um, some of these glowstones, like the hanging ones, those ones were added in creative just because... Eh, just because just they look cool. They don't really serve any purpose. They don't prevent spawns or anything. So I just wanted it to look cool. Um, this is the base, obviously. Um, the house, actually, about half of the house, the upper half and the roof, was done in creative just because I got so sick and tired of waiting for more wood because after building the boardwalk, like, legitimately, I built the boardwalk all the way back to the dock, like, 
legitimately, I built, like, the first floor of this house after finishing the boardwalk and all this area around it. So, I still used a crap ton of stuff legitimately. Um, these fences supporting the balcony here, these are um, creative, just because I didn't feel like making towers like that. It would have taken a long time, just for something simple. It, it's not even, it doesn't even serve a purpose. It's just to make it look more realistic, because... As you can see, I put another TNT cannon up here. It's the, CX, blah, blah, blah. it's the exact same model. But, you know, realistically, you wouldn't just have a giant freaking stone cannon up here, you know, supported by nothing. So I just put these here as a little aesthetic. Um, over here, this is the biggest part of the base that I used creative for. Remember how I was talking about my huge freaking farm? Well, it got destroyed by the sand. Sounds weird, but sand killed my farm. So what I did was... I basically just came out here in creative and leveled this whole area, and, um, you know, I just made my farm back because I did it in freaking survival, so you know what? This game is not taking it away from me, so I took it back, so screw you. Anyway, um, this is the entrance. As you can see, I got a lever here. I love blast doors. Okay. So I, I always have blast doors now because they're actually a lot safer than regular doors. Um, this is the house. It's actually pretty big. It's the biggest shelter that I've had, even though it's probably tiny compared to most people. Um, got a roaring fire and a pool over here. Um, got some paintings. The paintings were actually added in creative just because I wanted a little bit more of a visual flair. Um, up here, uh, this fence is legit. I mean, it's just tiny, whatever. Um, I actually, uh, you remember my undersea base that got screwed over by sand? I had originally, I had, like, over 15 bookshelves, so you know what? Because they got destroyed and it's a really, it's a pain to make bookshelves, I just said, screw it, I'm just giving myself my stuff back. Um, let's see. Glowstones, um, those were done in creative just because I wanted to prevent spawns in here. And then this was done, I believe, legitimately, I think. I don't remember. I think it was. But if it wasn't, I'm, it doesn't really matter. So, uh, what this is, is a little light show around my house. So, let's do this. Um, why don't I have two? Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, so, once that um, redstone clock is connected right here, all you do is you just come over to the lever, flick it on and off. And then you have, um, oh, here, let me get the snow off it. You can't really see. See, I lag, I, I don't run these very often because I kind of lag. I get a little bit framey when I run these, but they're just little blinking lights. I don't run them all the time just because. But I thought that was kind of perfect for the house, so I put in little blinking lights around the house. So one, two, three, four. You can see I'm going in a circle. So I just thought that'd be a nice touch. Um, let's see, what else? Um, there I cheated. I totally cheated. I got this mycelium through creative. I did not make this on my own. Um, because I wanted giant mushrooms. I like giant mushrooms. And apparently in older versions of the game, uh, like in the beta, you could grow giant mushrooms anytime you want. But in this version, 1.3.2, um, you have to have mycelium. And I just didn't have any. So, eat me. Anyway. I will now use my other TNT cannon. Now, uh, let's see. I need to position myself right. I think it's right uh, there. All right, so use the TNT cannon. This is the only way to get up there unless you stack blocks. Oh, ah, okay. Well, almost didn't make it, but I know for a fact that if even if you do land here, you still live. But yeah, uh, you usually land in this pool of water, and this is the only way to get up here without stacking blocks like a noob. Okay. But anyway, um, I'll just show one more thing, just because, you know, it's the last thing. So, yeah. Just make this an all-encompassing video. Oh, and wait, I need to... I want to shut off the lights, because I'm kind of skipping just a little. Alright, so come up here. Boom. And poof. There we go. I don't know how to fix that. I don't know what setting I could change to make that less um, laggy. But again, more blast doors here. And there's my trash can. Whenever there's an item I don't need, I just throw it in there. And come up here. And up here. 
really tall ladder. And blast door again. We got an iron blast door here to contain the legions of hell that are on the other side of this portal. And so we will venture forth and see what legions of hell wait, await us. So let's do it. Uh, there's a minecart here. No, of course not. Uh, I guess I'll just give myself one. Why not? Because I don't feel like walking or flying. <laughs> you know you're lazy when you don't feel like flying to where you want to go. Man. But okay. Uh, this is my nether area, obviously. Oh, wow. <laughs> I did not mean it like that. Okay. Um, so get off. No. Ah. Okay, that one's going to be going back, I guess. Um, so I don't know why I put these signs here. I know why I put this one here, but I don't know why I put that one there. So I got my nether base here. And it basically, like, there's two ways to go. That way is the... Like, it's the way to the nether fortress that I found. So, um, made a big obsidian hallway. That was all done in creative, because I don't have the, I don't, I don't want to waste my obsidian. So, yeah. Uh, big old nether fortress out here. And there's a blaze spawner there. I'm going to be turning this into a blaze EXP farm, so that's going to be cool. Um, big old nether fortress. Um, this wall... This whole wall and the whole fort, this was all done in, um, uh, not creative, it was done in, what's it called? Uh, survival. So yeah, uh, here, let me do this. Do, do, do. Give me the nether rack, and let me close that up. Okay. And this is just a way in, so, there. Um, that's pretty much it. That's kind of my world. I just wanted to show it, because I know... Uh, I don't know. You know, I wanted to show it. I put a lot of time and effort into this, so I wanted to share it, because it's cool. So, yeah. Um, that's my Minecraft world. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you don't laugh at me for having a crappy world, if it is indeed crappy. Um, I hope you liked it. And, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm ever going to... I don't know if I ever do another video on this. I don't know what it would be about. But if I do, then... I guess we'll see. So allow me to dig out and leave you with this image of my main base because it's awesome. So I will see you guys if I ever decide to do another Minecraft video. So see ya.